True! Timeless! Triple! Two! No, I'm not losing my mind, <laughs> at least not yet. Those are in fact all the things that the T stands for in SP2000T, the music player you see right here. You know what else starts with T? Subscribe, as in be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our latest videos and reviews. Here we are again, folks. Another day, another brand new Estelle and Kern music player. I feel like these happen quite a bit. I feel like our friendship is growing closer. But that's because Estelle and Kern never stops innovating. Can we get that in bold letters and post? Yeah, yeah. They bring something completely new to the table every time they release a product. And Estelle and Kern is busy, busy, busy. Because it seems like they release a new dap every other month sometimes. But we're not complaining because the SP2000T has something no other AK dab has to date. Tubes! Well, one tube. According to Estelle and Kern, the T in SP2000T does not stand for a specific word, but rather encompasses design approaches and directions made during the product development process. True. The SP2000T inherits the SP2000's true sound philosophy. Timeless, it has timeless value. Triple, stands for its triple amp system. And tube, because it contains a vintage vacuum tube amplifier. That's right, it has a tube. Probably the biggest critics of Estelle and Kern in the past are music lovers who prefer a warmer and more musical interpretation. Because AK daps are known for their amazingly clean and detailed signatures due to some of the top of the line ESS chips. Now they've listened and have since come out with players like the SC200, which is equipped with triple DAX, one being a phenomenal sounding AK4497. The SC180, in the same respect, is designed with swappable DAC cards, so you can choose your flavor of sound signature according to your listening preferences. The SP2000 remains at this time the flagship DAC and it's one of the best on the market. Equipped with dual AK4499 EQ DACs, they're some of the best sounding chips you can get. But in the interest of giving the listener options, they have tweaked the design to make an equally top of the line player with a very different sound signature that will certainly appeal to those wanting a smoother and more vintage sound. It's equipped with a portable friendly dual triode Korg new tube. Good for about 30,000 hours, it features an anode grid filament structure which operates the same as a triode vacuum tube. It's much smaller, consumes less power, and still delivers the same audio with rich overtones. Okay, enough of the marketing talk, how does it sound? Smooth. For you scotch connoisseurs out there, if I were to compare this to one, it'd have to be a single malt highland. It's like drinking a bonfire. And as such, the SP2000T brings a weight and a warmth to your music that no other AK player has done before. Low frequencies have depth and extension that you won't find in older AK daps. Mids and highs have a transparency and clarity, and the detail is retained due to the ES9068AS quad DAC. The pairing with the ESS chip and the tube is a deadly combo, allowing the 2000T to have a sound signature that's quite different from the SP2000 and completely its own. Estelle and Kern implements what they call the triple amp system in the new DAP, offering the listener control of just how much warmth they want to introduce in the sound. It's a revolutionary way of tailoring your music like never before. Three modes. Op amp mode gives you that classic AK signature. Extreme clarity and dynamic sound. Tube amp mode gives you full access to the Korg new tube with a uniquely warm and musical sound. Hybrid amp mode gives you control of just how much warmth or clarity you want, with five options to find just the right spot for you. You can read more about my sound impressions in the written review, which we'll link to here. For my testing purposes, I use the SP2000T 
with the Hi-Fi Man HER10P headphones and a Silver Dragon Premium cable. Due to the variation in sound options for the SP2000T, it really depends on what headphones you have and the music you like to listen to when it comes to the best cable recommendation. But for me, the Silver Dragon allowed me to keep a lot of the clarity and detail while getting the full benefit of the tube amp mode. Feel free to contact us with questions and we'll be happy to make a personal recommendation for you. One really cool thing that isn't going to be easily visualized by me talking about it is how they minimize the noise from the vacuum tube. So Estelle and Kern uses magnetic forces to actually float the amp, minimizing contact points and noise from the tube itself. This tube noise is caused when contact is made with other mechanical pieces or objects, as well as movement and vibration. So of course, in a portable music player, you're going to run into issues with movement. Well, with the addition of magnets and shielding, noise and interference from the tube is not an issue. The SP2000T also makes some quality of life improvements, including a full HD 5-inch display, a quad DAC allowing two DACs per channel, replay gain, added filters, dual band Wi-Fi, wireless transfers, navigation enhancements, and much more. So does the SP2000T make the flagship SP2000 obsolete? No but it does give the listener more options than the SP2000 to find the right sound for their music. The quality of life improvements also make the overall user experience more efficient and enjoyable. The SP2000T is a great option for those who want warmth, and it sounds great especially for classical jazz, folk, and even EDM and pop for those music lovers who want a good thump in their ears. The vintage sound from the tube isn't for everyone. But Estelle and Kern gives you seven options to find the right balance, making the SP2000T a great DAP for everyone. We'll include a link to the full review with sound impressions, comparisons with other AK DAPs like the SE180, SE200, and the SP2000, and lots more information. Don't forget to subscribe to get our latest audiophile videos and reviews. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.